Hi, I'm Bayan June. I'm with Soul Pancake, and I'm excited to share with you guys my thoughts on why a strong look is important to engaging your audience and to give you some ways to create your own look. First, let's talk about why it's helpful to give your videos a unique look. When you're watching the video, what are some of the first things you notice? The background, the colors, the clothes? All of these things make up the look or the visual style of your video. Check out this clip. It's pretty boring, right? Now watch this one. You can see the difference in the visual design of what's in the frame. Now let's talk about how you can start creating your look with the video to really capture the attention of your fans and make your videos stand out. All right, so as you can see, we're in a new location and I have a new shirt on, which I feel really good about because it gives you an idea about my personal taste, which is really important when you're establishing a look and a mood for your character and your videos in general. We have a blank slate behind me, and what you're gonna see in the course of this part of the lesson is how we can play, arrange objects in a dynamic way so that you have a visually interesting frame. Choosing the right location to set your video is a great way to get awesome production value at a really low cost, and immediately it can capture your audience's attention. Now let's talk about decorating the space within the frame. It's important to keep in mind exactly what's going to be in frame and what isn't. So there's no point in decorating the space outside the frame. Using production design to decorate the space in this frame with the colors and props that you have pulled together is a great way to give your video depth and texture. Consider using the three planes in order to maximize the depth. There's the background elements, there are the mid-ground elements, and then there are the foreground elements. And you want to arrange these things in order to draw focus where you want. So right now you can see with the red couch and the accent colors of the red in the plant, draw yourself towards me, which also has beautiful red hummingbirds on my shirt that create a sense of visual unity within the frame. And this can be a very powerful tool in order to create a sense of balance within your images or alternatively a sense of imbalance if these colors are clashing. Flashing. Choosing props or costumes that fit within your look really help your audience feel the mood that you're aiming to create. For example, this rotary phone, as we discussed, would fit really well within a 70s set or creating a vintage mood because, quite frankly, I don't even know how to use this thing anymore. So let's get rid of this. Thank you. Or this fan. Maybe from a slightly earlier era, it's totally copper and stainless steel. It doesn't have to work, but you know what? It is a very nice, shiny, vintage looking fan that could maybe fit within a 40s or 50s set. What else do we got? This is a top hat that could very easily fit within on a character in a 1920s scene. You may already be thinking about Charlie Chaplin as you look at me in this hat. It evokes certain types of feelings or a vintage mood that if I were to just walk around on the street, it would probably be awkward, but if I was in the 20s, I would probably fit right in. Now let's talk about my favorite, which is making what you can't find. Homemade materials can sometimes be the most interesting for your fans to find engaging. So if you don't already have the background props or wardrobes, consider just making it yourself. One of the benefits of making something yourself is that you can really tailor it to the look that you're going for in terms of color, font, and design because your hands are literally on it. For our Soul Pancake Street stunts, we've always wanted to have these giant larger than life props and we couldn't find them anywhere so we just had to make them ourselves. And in doing so, we were able to control the color palette so that we were able to really create some unique and identifiable props that spoke to our brand. The first thing that you really want to think about when deciding a look is what kind of video am I making? Am I making a vlog? Is it a music video? Is it a sketch comedy? This will give you a palette or an overall tone to start working within. Color is one of the simplest and most powerful ways to create a strong look for your channel's videos. Small choices like painting a white background blue can really help to improve the production value and help audience to feel a certain way. When we think about the color blue, we see the ocean, we see the sky, and it's a cool color that can make us feel safe or calm. A video with a vivid color palette is often used for comedy sketches or lifestyle type shows, whereas a more muted color palette can suggest reality or documentary style shows. Personally, I really like to ex explore how color can grow with your story. Can we go from a more muted set into a more vivid set as our character's perspective on life changes and grows? Or how can we use color in a way to reflect our character's emotional state of mind? 
because different colors can very often mean different things to different people, it's important that you start to trust your gut and develop your own visual language that your audience will become connected to because what you'll find is that as you continue to make decisions about what your set looks like, it's not really the things that are different that will distinguish you. It's a lot of times the choices that you make that are the same that will start to identify your channel's brand in particular and compared to all the other ones. That is the goal, is to have a very unique style that people can point to and that they can recognize even if your name isn't on it. Keeping fans engaged from one video to the next can be a challenge, but one simple thing you can do with your visual design is just to make sure that you're consistent in your choices so your fans know what to expect from you. It might not be that sexy of a topic, but it's important that during the process, you're realistic about the things that you can repeat. And by doing that, your audience starts to trust you to be able to consistently deliver emotion that they can depend on. For example, when you look at a show like Kid President, it's really meant to have a handmade feel and give, uh, give Kid President's audience the feeling that a kid could have made this show. That is, a, it's a show for kids by kids. And you can tell because of the different elements in the background. They're made out of cardboard, and the curtains are obviously not behind windows, and all of the elements are hand-drawn. And that gave the audience a very particular feeling that, hey, this could have been made by a kid, and it's for kids. Don't forget that with every decision you make, you're giving yourself an opportunity co to connect with your audience. That's really helpful for people to allow them to invest emotionally into your videos. So let's brainstorm ideas for your look. By creating a strong, unique look, you're going to make an impact with your viewers and also set yourself apart as a creator and as a channel. Which colors represent what you're doing and make you feel the way that you want your audience to feel when they watch your videos? What locations or backgrounds are most appropriate for the kinds of videos that you're making? What are kinds of props and costumes that you think make the most sense for your video? Get creative by doing things that are special and unique to you. Think about your story. Why did you start making videos? What were the things that were important in your life? What are the things that you enjoy looking at? And then incorporate those unique elements into your video. At Soul Pancake, it's most important for us to try and make stuff that matters. But we want to do, do so with a joyful and optimistic approach. When we design our production elements, we want to create something that's beautiful, handmade, and kind of makes you double take if you were to pass it on the street. In collaboration with YouTube, we actually built a recycled playground right in the front of the YouTube space. A space that people would want to come and sit and remember being a kid in that scenario. We had to paint actually 42 stumps. So we just went to Lumberyard and asked if they had any spare stumps on them and didn't end up paying more than $50 for all of the stumps. When people sat in the sandbox, they really felt nostalgic and vulnerable in a way that they were willing to discuss with, uh, with the stranger that we would pair them with about things that they wish they knew when they were younger. One, two, three, four, I declare a thumb war. <laughs> thumb. Yeah. I... So how do, I, how do I declare peace? I don't like war. How do I declare peace? I guess we just put our thumbs Okay. Together. Peace. Peace. Thank you so much for watching. It was really fun to share my thoughts on production design and how to create a look because it is something that I spend a lot of time thinking about. If you want to watch more Creator Academy lessons, click here.